Today, I wanna to show you five side hustles that can earn you up to $100 a day and require little to no experience or equipment. Number one, podcast helper. There are over 5 million podcasts out there. Everyone and their grandmas has a podcast. I have a podcast. Podcasts are a lot of work. I, I know, trust me. What does that have to do with you? Well, there are a lot of podcasts looking for all sorts of help. If you have technical skills like graphic design, video, or audio editing, you can easily land a gig with one of these podcasts. You can find people looking for help on Upwork, Fiverr, and countless other freelance platforms. Alternatively, you can reach out to these people directly on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, or email. And here's a bonus tip. Reach out by offering your help, or better yet, setting examples of your previous work. Don't have any previous work? Don't worry, offer to do it for free. You won't be doing free work forever. Use this as experience and reference for future work. But Nelly, you said there's no technical skills required. That's true, if you don't have any technical skills, there's hope for you as well. Do you enjoy listening to podcasts? Well, if so, you can also apply to these gigs looking for show notes takers. So what is a show notes taker? I've never even heard this. Well, basically you just listen to a podcast and you make timestamps of different topics discussed. If you have any writing experience, you can also write articles about the podcast you've listened to. This is a super easy gig and there's millions of podcasts out there and growing daily. So you'll always find consistent clients. So how much does a gig like this pay? Well, it really depends on the client and the podcast, but I've seen prices go from 10 to $30 an hour. And if you do a really good job for them, they'll hire you to do more episodes. Better yet, if you get good at skills around this kind of work, there's some serious cash to be made. There's a bunch of other gigs in the podcast world that I personally know myself. So if you're interested in a specific video just for that kind of stuff, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to make one. Number two, freelance platforms. This is a bit of a general topic and it greatly depends on your skill sets. You're definitely good at something. Figure out what that is and how to sell it. If you can save someone time with their tasks, you can make money. Whether that means being someone's personal assistant, proofreading books, or writing YouTube scripts, there are countless opportunities out there. You just need to look. One big tip I'll give around this topic is on landing these clients. With lots of opportunity comes lots of competition. So the way I found to have the most success with landing clients is being really direct, showing examples of my work and offering a solution to their problem. Don't beg for work or write three paragraphs about how you're a special snowflake. Get to the point, people want a solution quick. They are hiring you to save time, not waste it. Number three, extra storage. This is a pretty cool one that my friend is currently doing, so I decided to throw it in here. So I live in a somewhat bigger city with a decent amount of tourists. Maybe everyone can't do this one, but people in bigger cities definitely can. Tourists need a place to store their luggage for the day. So what my friend did was really clever. He uses extra space in his apartment and turned it into a storage facility. He currently charges $10 a day for the first suitcase and an additional five for any other suitcases. He's earning between 20 and $100 a day, depending on the amount of clients, obviously, and the amount of tourists that day. He set everything up on Google and made an Instagram page, so it took him a couple hours. And while he's already working at home, people will randomly message him and say, hey, I need a place to store my luggage. Are you the guy that can help me? He goes downstairs, picks up the luggage, puts in his room, and leaves it there. And when that person is ready to get it, they give him another call, he brings it down, and that's it. It's as simple as that. So if you're already gonna be at home a lot or working from home, this is a great little business to set up running in the background and see what happens. If you start getting more clients, maybe figure out a way to get more space or invest in online you know, paid advertising, buy some flyers. You can do a lot more with this. It'll depend on what kind of traffic you end up getting and obviously the type of city you live in. Sell and flip. Okay, Nelly, I'd love some free space, but I've got none. Well, maybe it's time to sell some stuff. This is a pretty obvious one, but sometimes the obvious solutions are easy to forget. Go on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Craigslist, and get rid of that rice cooker you've only used once. If you have a bit more time, see what's out there and see if you can flip it. If you can clean an item or repair it or add some sort of value to it, you have a much better chance at flipping it. Try your best to work in the space that you know best. For me, I used to sell PlayStation 2 games. In my smaller city, I knew a lot of people didn't want to drive out to a seller for a video game that was 20 years old, but I knew some games were worth much more than they were being sold for. People just wanted to get rid of old games. And I knew if I drove out there and I set up an online store, I can take that game and I can flip it for sometimes two or three times the price. And it's a lot of fun and you can make some decent money from it. Community engagement specialist. Wow, that sounds so fancy, but it's really straightforward. Have you ever left a comment on a random post on the internet? Sure you have, who hasn't? What if I told you you can actually get paid for that? Companies are looking for people to post engaging comments about their products or services, 
put down the competition or steer conversations. In this age of engagement thriving algorithms, it's no brainer that companies want to influence conversations and help their business grow in literally whatever way they can. So here's an example of what a community engagement specialist might do. Let's say you're selling a software that solves an accounting problem. Well, you'd look on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Reddit, and other platforms for people looking for accounting solutions. When you find these comments, you would answer with basically a product plug. Not only would your solution be seen by the original person that asked the question, but by potentially hundreds of other people that also see the response. You can kind of see how a person that does this can be a valuable asset to a company. These types of gigs can be found on Upwork, Fiverr, LinkedIn, and countless other job slash gig platforms. And the pay can be anywhere from $10 an hour to as much as 35. So these are just some side hustles that I've personally had experience with or I've seen firsthand that they work. If you have any side hustles that I've missed that you're currently doing that are really awesome, let me know in the comments below. If you need a website for your side hustle, we'd love to help you out. 